So I decided to make a video for uh, checking the backlash and basically rebuilding this rear diff. Um, even though this was a new old stock complete unit, it was missing the thrust blocks in there for some reason, um, which means I had to take everything apart um, and pull the old LSD apart to get the thrust blocks out and then put them into this unit. Uh, so now I'm gonna go over checking the backlash and doing the uh, grease pattern test on this rear diff. All right, so now that all the right parts are inside of this LSD, we can get to adjusting the backlash and making sure the tooth engagement pattern is correct. Um, and this process is the same if you're, you know, installing an LSD, putting in an air locker, or just rebuilding your carrier. Um, and what actually makes this easier than starting from total scratch is that we're not messing with the pinion depth, right? We're just using what this came with or what this came with, um, since we're not actually changing the ratios of these diffs. This div did come with a different ratio, but it's a different part number, new old stock unit, so that's separate. Um, but if you're just doing this um, without changing ratios, it's actually not that bad since you don't have to adjust this pinion height. Um, it's really annoying because Mitsubishi actually has a special tool that sits in here that is used for setting this pinion height, unlike every manufacturer, which actually gives you a measurable distance from the top of this gear to the center line of the bore here. Um, so making it a little harder, but since these are, you know, from the factory, uh, we don't need to worry about messing with them. Um, and, you know, it's always good to check if yours is tight. And yeah, this one's tight and it's got, you know, 100,000 miles on it. And this one's brand new. So presumably it's tight. Um, what's really nice about the rear diff compared to the front is that to adjust the side to side position of the carrier and ring, uh, you know, they give you this threaded piece on each side and you screw them in and out to adjust, you know, the lateral position. Um, instead of contrast the front diff, you put shims in, which is a pain in the butt. Uh, so basically I just made a quick little tool here uh, that fits into the holes. Uh, so I could, you know, easily crank this and adjust the preload and position. Um, so once you got it close, you take out your fancy gauge, stick that on the side um, to measure the backlash. Um, right, so that gauge is just measuring that slight play you have. Um, Mitsubishi specs are pretty tight uh, compared to like other cars. Uh, they want this measurement to be within like four to between four to six thousandths of an inch. Um, I think this one's sitting somewhere around five right now. Um, did this earlier. And you want to check that in, you know, rotate this around a couple times and check it in a couple places. Uh, the next thing is to do the tooth pattern test. So I got a tube of colored grease here from good old Jeff Bezos. Um, and then I'm just going to paint the front and back of the teeth. Um, make sure you do a really good job painting and get a nice thorough coat. Um, that way it'll be easier to read uh, the engagement pattern when you spin it around and look at it. So painting is done. Um, and then I'm going to spin this around to where our grease powder is right before where it meets the pinion gear. Set it down. And then what we're going to do is shove this aluminum bar. Manual calls out brass. 
didn't have that, but basically any metal that's softer than what the diff is made out of, jam that in there. And then what you want is to spin the pinion flange, uh, I think they call out around 20 foot pounds of resistance um, on the rotation. So this should be pretty close to that. If I turn it by hand and it's really hard. So spin it around. Okay, cleared the pinion gear, and now we'll spin it up. All right, so we can take a look, look at the back here. That's where we're gonna see that contact patch. Um, the service manual does a really good job of showing, showing you what the pictures are like, and it tells you the different conditions, like if your pattern looks like this, change your pinion height, whatever, uh, but this one looks pretty good. I think this tooth is a pretty good example. Um, the, the contact patch is right in the middle. Uh, it's about the right shape, kind of tailing off uh, towards the inside of the gear. Um, so yeah, not too bad. I was able to do this in, you know, probably probably about two hours, including putting, putting this whole thing together, um, uh, doing the backlash, doing the paint test and everything. Uh, so not that hard, just requires a little bit of patience. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the front diffs are harder because you have to shim them instead of just a, a, just a threaded collar. Um, but yeah.